Hi, my name is Stuart McConkey here at Titans of CNC, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edge find your X and Y. When edge finding your X and Y, there are two different ways. You can use a probe, which some CNCs come with, or a manual edge finder. When using the manual edge finder, we typically use an RPM of 1,200. Once the tip has stepped out, then we know that that is directly in line with the edge of our part. Then all we need to do is take our tip diameter, divide it by two, and move over into our material so that way we can have our true edge. Now that I've explained how it works, let me show you in the machine. Now that I've put my edge finder in, I'm gonna turn on the spindle to 1,200 RPM. First, I'm gonna to go to MDI, which is manual data input, and I'm gonna type in S for spindle speed, 1,200, and M3 for clockwise rotation, end block insert, and cycle start. This will turn the spindle on to 1,200 RPM, spinning clockwise. Now that the spindle is turning, I'm gonna hand jog it into position away from my material so that way I can creep up next to it. Once I've hand jogged it close, I'm then gonna to go to my thou increment and I'm gonna slowly creep up to the edge of my part. Once I've gotten close to the edge of my part, I'm gonna slowly click one thou increment one by one until I can see the edge finder come to center. Now that the edge finder is stable and has stopped wiggling, I know I'm very close and I'm just going to barely click the one thou increment one at a time until I can see the edge finder step out of center line. Now that the edge finder has stepped out from being in the center, I'm then going to come over to my G54 and I'm going to hit part zero set. I'm going to take half my tip diameter, which in this case is a hundred thousandths or 0.1. I'm going to subtract it from its position so that way I can get to the center edge of my part. Minus 0.1, enter. Now that our edge finder has stepped out of center line, we're ready to set our X. I'm gonna go over to my X axis tab and I'm gonna hit part zero set. Then I'm gonna take my tip diameter, divide it by two, and add it to the position that the machine has just set. And that's how you manually zero your work offsets.